Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to reset Windows device pin from the login screen using destructive pin reset method. Users can reset the forgotten pins using the I forgot my pin link from the login screen. Users are required to authenticate and complete multi-factor authentication to reset their PIN. There are two forms of PIN reset called destructive and non-destructive. Destructive PIN reset is the default and doesn't require any configuration. During a destructive PIN reset, the user's existing PIN and underlying credentials including any keys or certificates added to their Windows Hello container will be deleted from the client and a new login key and PIN are provided. During a non-destructive PIN reset, the user's Windows Hello for Business container and keys are preserved. But the user's PIN that they use to authorize key usage is changed. For non-destructive PIN reset, you must deploy the Microsoft PIN reset service and client policy to enable the pin recovery feature. Let's go to our test Windows 10 device. I know the user password and device pin of this Windows 10 device, so there is no need to reset the pin on this device. But to show you the exact steps, we will use this device to reset pin using destructive pin reset mode. Open run menu. Type CMD and press Enter key. The pin reset configuration can be viewed by running command dsregcmd slash status from the command line. So type command dsregcmd slash status and press Enter key to execute the command. Pin reset configuration state can be found under the output in the user state section. We need to look for can reset line. If can reset reports as destructive only, then only destructive pin reset is enabled. If can reset reports destructive and non-destructive, then non-destructive pin reset is also enabled. As we can see, only destructive pin reset is enabled just as we expected in this case. Before we do the reset, we want to check the current certificate dates. Let's open MMC, type command MMC and press enter key. Click on yes. Click on file and select add and remove snap-ins. Click on certificates and click on add. Make sure my user account is selected and then click on finish. Click on OK again. Expand current user certificates. Expand Personal and click on Certificates. Double click on the certificate. Check the validity of the certificate. These dates should change when we do a destructive reset because a new certificate is issued. Let's test the destructive pin reset on our test Windows 10 device. Let me close everything. And let's sign out from this Windows 10 device. For testing purpose, I'm trying to log in as a test user 1. But we want to reset the pin. To do that, I'm going to click on I forgot my pin link. Wait for a few seconds. Then it loads up new window. In there, we have to enter user's password to perform the authentication. Let's enter a test user 1's password and click on next. Click on text me at mobile number to get an OTP code on registered mobile number. After entering the code, click on next. Then the new page is open up with a warning about pin reset. Here we can see warning about a pin reset. Click on continue. 
then we can enter a new pin again notice that the text says set up a pin because this is a destructive pin reset we can see set up a pin let me enter the pin and click on ok the pin has been set up successfully and we can see the confirmation message all set click ok this completes the pin reset process and now we can log in with the new pin let me enter the new pin okay after signing to this windows 10 device let's check the current certificate status open run menu type mmc and press enter key click on yes click on file add and remove snap in select certificate and click on add my user account click on finish and click on ok expand certificates personal and click on certificates let's double click on the certificate if we now look at the certificate we can see that it is indeed a destructive reset because the certificate date has been changed during editing i'll also put earlier validity so you can have idea about the certificate validity dates as we can see we were able to reset the pin on windows 10 device successfully but the users existing pin and underlying credentials including certificates added to their windows hello container deleted from the client and a new certificate and pin are generated this marks the end of this video in the next video we will configure non destructive pin reset for windows 10 device with microsoft intune that's all for this video on how to perform destructive pin reset in windows 10 device with microsoft intune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day